Hi and welcome to the third part of the DriveWorks products overview. In this presentation we're going to take a look at DriveWorks Professional. Like DriveWorks Solo, DriveWorks Pro has a similar kind of setup. You begin by capturing your dimensions and features within your models that you want to drive, as well as custom properties and any drawings that you want to control. With DriveWorks Pro you would build input forms as well as a web interface to capture any parameters from your customers or potential customers, they're going to create new variations of your designs. And again, you would build rules to drive your models from those inputs. Another option you have, if you're upscaling from DriveWorks Solo, is to simply bring in your DriveWorks Solo project and upscale it to DriveWorks Pro. Once it's in DriveWorks Pro, you're ready to run your project. So one of the main differences between DriveWorks Solo and DriveWorks Pro is with DriveWorks Professional, you have the option to outscale or upscale your projects and uh, make them available online or to a, a wider array of users. What you're seeing here is somebody actually configuring a new design in a mobile device. So with DriveWorks Pro, what you're doing is you're getting into a real multi-user environment. There are a few more tools that are available with DriveWorks Professional. Let's start off by looking at some of the user tools that we have available. So the first thing we have is the DriveWorks user, which I consider as the thin client. So if you wanted to allow, say, salespeople, internal sales force to configure new designs, then you could simply use the DriveWorks user on site at your facility and allow them to create new variations of your design. If you wanted to go further afield with your designs, then you have something called DriveWorks Live, which will allow you to take your designs onto the World Wide Web. This way you could have customers or potential customers come in and actually access your products and create new variations. You still have the DriveWorks Administrator interface. And the DriveWorks Administrator is where you would set up your projects and configure the interfaces for your users. You also have a tool in DriveWorks Professional that allows you to create workflows, or what we call specification flows. This is where you could pause any creation of your documentation and make them go through an approval process prior to actually generating any new files. Now this is all brought together with server components. You have something called the DriveWorks Pro Server, and this, this tool allows you to link to other systems. So if you wanted to take inputs from an ERP system or output things like emails to, uh, to customers, then uh, the DriveWorks Pro Server is the tool that will allow you to do that. DriveWorks Autopilot is really the horsepower behind the system. DriveWorks Autopilot is what's processing any jobs that are in your queue, it's creating your documentations, and it's also generating your emails. Now that we know we have a multi-user environment, let's take a quick look at some of these interfaces and how some of these things work. So I'm going to start off with the, the DriveWorks Live, which is the web interface. So here we can start a new project. As you can see, we're using an address, which is uh, similar to how we would have a web address. Just like we, uh, we saw with DriveWorks Solo, we would input our, our information on this first page and you can see again, we have rules here that stop us from moving forward if we don't fill in this information. So once we start adding this information in here, you will see these, uh, these warnings disappear. Till eventually they go away and now we're able to move to the next stage. So that's our web interface. Let's take a look at the DriveWorks user interface next. And uh, this is for your internal, con your internal customers, such as your internal sales force. So this is what I consider the thin client. Again, you can create new specifications in here. And again, you're presented with the same type of interface and the same type of rules that you, uh, you configure yourself. So let's go ahead and add some information here and remove these warnings. And then when we move to our next page, this is where we're able to put our parameters in for the actual size 
um, options for our design. But one nice thing I want to show you here is in the in the DriveWorks Professional products, we do have an option to add a, a 3D preview of uh, what your design is going to look like. That also works in the web interface. So if you wanted to let your customers or potential customers have a 3D preview prior to placing an order or submitting a request, then uh, that is an option that you have. So if we, if we go and add some different uh, options here, then uh, you'll see the price updates just like it did in Solo. And then finally, we'll just simply hit Generate. Okay, now when we hit the Generate button, this is when the DriveWorks Autopilot takes over. So first thing we'll do is we'll, we'll go back to our Specifications folder. And here's where it's creating our specification. Now what's happening in the background is DriveWorks has actually taken over my, my SolidWorks, my CAD interface, and it's actually generating these new designs for us. So you can see it's opening our documents, it's creating our drawing sheets, and it's rearranging things and putting them in the correct place. So as you can see, DriveWorks Autopilot is now generating all that documentation for us in the background. Once this is finished up, we'll have a full specification folder with all the documentation that's been generated. So that's, that's an overview of the DriveWorks uh, Professional. Um, what's basically happened here is all we've done is we've simply added our inputs in either DriveWorks Live or DriveWorks User. DriveWorks Autopilot has taken those inputs and it's actually generated the new variations of our design and our other documentation as well. So the nice thing about this is we've had very little user input in order to generate those new designs. So the process is still the same. You're simply going to fill out the forms, either online or internally, and the forms are configured to, to meet your needs and gather the information that you need. The results are that it's going to generate models, 3D CAD models, 2D drawings, and finally, any other documentation such as bill of materials, cover letters, and quotes. So the key benefits of DriveWorks Professional is it's a truly multi-user environment. By being able to take your, your configurations and give access to people internally and externally, you now have much better customer access to your products. By giving customers access to your products, you're able to generate more quotes in record time. You've got seamless links between your team as well as company systems such as PDM, CRM, ERP, and CAD. And overall, you're going to reduce the cost of custom designs. As you saw in this presentation, there was no CAD input from us. We simply let DriveWorks Autopilot do all of the legwork for us. Thanks for your time. I'm Chris Souter with MLC CAD Systems, and this was a DriveWorks Professional Overview.